Hello everyone, I am Subjit Roy, welcoming you to Mojo for Industry Development debate on why partial distance testing is important. The knowledge partner for the session is Fluke Corporation and co-sponsor is Next Gen Equipments Private Limited. DRAC, all the partial discharge, whenever you come across that thing must be detected, must be reported, must be analyzed and corrective action to be taken. To avoid further breakdown or catastrophic effect, that is, uh, partial discharge is a real uh, kind of cancer in a utility system, and if you detect it early and take appropriate actions, you will not get into that stage four kind of situation, and then uh, you can still have time to save your life or your equipment's life, money, and efforts, and time can be saved, and the safety of the plant, men and your surrounding. Dr. Arurak, can I ask you why it is important to measure and interpret PD data correctly? Whenever breakdown happens, it leads to my increased downtime. It may lead to fire. It may lead to loss of life of human beings, loss of the assets. It may lead to the insulation degradation and stress on my power system. Most importantly, Whenever there is loss of any equipment, there is indirect burden on general consumer in terms of the tariff we are paying. That's why that partial discharge measurement is very important, must be carried out. Uh, Mr. Prabhakaran, so what are the methods available to get the right data and how to analyze it? The method of uh, partial discharge detection varies. Okay, There are uh, high frequency methods, ultraviolet method. There are sound detection methods and there are uh, the TEV, so-called transient earth voltage method. These are all, most of them are electrical side and some of those things are online. Uh, there are difficulties in using different technologies. Each of those technology has its own pros and cons. Most of these electrical systems, electrical sensor based uh, measurement, you need to fix the electrical sensor well before you charge the equipment. The acoustic uh, system can actually give you most of the partial discharge uh, without touching the or at a safer distance itself. But uh, same times, whether the acoustic sensor can cover everything related to partial discharge? No. You have to choose the right kind of equipments and right kind of analytical uh, methods to identify the condition of these assets. Partial discharge always starts as a small one and it starts growing and finally ends with the flashover. That's why you need to monitor it, you need to document it, and you need to have a precise mechanism to ensure that it is the unwanted shutdown is not happening. That's very interesting. Uh, Mr. Prabhakaran, uh, how PD service can provide an asset health check and support maintenance planning? You are talking about the condition monitoring and planning uh, maintenance planning as well. The subject is not easy. He should have subject knowledge. He should have the theoretical knowledge. He should have the practical knowledge and its effect. If that is not there, then it is not easy for somebody to interpret it correctly and avoid the mishaps. Uh, Dr. Arura, could you share your experience? When I say these equipment, there are only three types of insulation we can use. We use liquid transformer oil. We use gas and uh, we have some solid insulation, polystyrene and other proxy we are using in our system. And for all these three types of insulation, we have to be careful how to detect a partial discharge. So ladies and gentlemen, by now we all know that partial discharge testing is an essential tool for ensuring the safe and reliable operation of high voltage equipment. We hope you enjoyed this Mojo for Industry Development debate on why partial discharge testing is important. The knowledge partner Fluke Corporation and co-sponsor was Next Gen Equipments Private Limited. For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.